But with the land border to Malaysia set to fully reopen next Friday, Singapore companies are already seeing a jump in job applications from Malaysian workers. That's also as businesses gear up for a long-awaited recovery. Quidditil has more. For workers at this electrical engineering company in Singapore, the border's full reopening is a morale booster. With quarantine and COVID-19 testing no longer needed from 1st April, fully vaccinated Malaysian workers can once again freely commute to and from Singapore. And that means many who were stuck here during the pandemic can start thinking about moving back home. I presume they will see how chaotic the, the commute is before deciding on that. Yeah, I think they probably might wait to, for it to stabilise and have a smooth transition before they might make a firm decision on that. The border's reopening also means Cyclect can rehire in time for its expansion plans to the Middle East. Those plans were put off during the pandemic due to the strain on the workforce. Malaysians comprise less than 10% of Cyclex staff, but they fill key supervisory roles and lead project teams. Malaysians uh, had uh, all, all the while had quite a place in our uh, company, you know, uh, being very close to us culturally and all that, it was easy to integrate them and being nearby, it meant that uh, some of them were willing to um, eventually settle down here. So in that sense, um, uh, the potential for them to become long-term uh, employees is far greater. In the last two years of the pandemic, 15 Malaysian colleagues returned home and couldn't come back. While companies look forward to attracting Malaysian workers again, they say it will only go a little way to fulfilling their manpower needs. There are still other factors at play, such as foreign worker quotas and high resident employment that will continue to make hiring a challenge. Facing a manpower crunch, this hotel trained its staff to take on multiple roles. We actually have uh, streamlined our manpower needs and with that we are still 30 to 40 percent away from the ideal state that we want. It needs to quickly hire again, but with tourism poised to return to Singapore, the competition for talent is heating up. The good news is it's seen up to a 20 percent increase in job applications for Malaysians compared to a year ago. We are seeking to increase the uh, number of current headcount by 20 to 30 percent in the next few months and that uh, will definitely come from uh, Malaysian workers uh, coming into Singapore in the, in the near future. Before the pandemic, an estimated 300,000 people cross the border every day. The hope here is that the full reopening of the land border would bring them all back as soon as possible.